say the least, including some of my favorite movies, Million Dollar Baby. Loved it, yeah. Hello, right, Outbreak, yeah. Unthinkable, <laughs> not to mention NYPD Blue, Major Crime, Saving Grace. I mean, the list goes on and on. And right now, filming a multiple episodes uh, of Sons of Anarchy. I think we all know that show, and it's amazing. Yeah. And so I am so impressed by the work that you've done. And so well, what, what drew you to your role as Gabriel in Bless Me Ultima? Uh, everything. Really? Uh, the, the, the book, of course, when I grew up um, here in Albuquerque, Rudolfo and I was uh, friendly with the theater company my mom was part of, La Compañía de Teatro de Albuquerque. Oh, wow. Well, we changed the name to La Compañía. Jose Rodriguez was the artistic director. He met Rudy, and Rudy was telling me uh, Jose inspired him to write plays. And I met him as a child. So wow. when he visited the set, I told him the story. He was like, yeah, I remember your mom. I Full remember Jose. Yeah. Uh, and I was about, you know, this size when I met him. <laughs> so I was like, this is very cool. That's uh, amazing. So I knew the book. I, uh, I met with the director. Carl's amazing. Yeah. Um, read the script. It was so true to the book. Oh. And then we're filming in New Mexico. I'm like, all right, where do I sign? It's a win-win. Let's go. Oh, and, and we're so and, glad that uh, you did. It's a great role. It's just so fun to do. It is. And, you know, and I have to talk to Luke for a moment because you already have five big projects under your belt. And mm -hmm. in Bless Me Ultima, you do play the protagonist, which is, of course, Antonio. So tell us a little bit about your character. Well, Antonio, he has strong belief in God, mm -hmm. and he, um, he has a lot of questions about life. He wants to go, he wants to do good in school, mm -hmm. and I feel that he was, it was really good to relate, and I feel that we are a lot of like for those reasons. So that really helps you get into character because you can really relate to who he was and what and what he represents. Mm -hmm. That's got to be a great thing for an mm -hmm. actor. I know as an actor myself, it's a it's really nice when you can relate to the role and you're mm -hmm. doing so well with what you're doing. And so when you prepare for your roles, you know, you talk about meeting the author and of yeah. course, you know, that's a big thing. Did you actually read the book? Um, yes, I read the book, but and I met the Rudolfo and I, mm -hmm. but while I was preparing with the script, my mom and dad was reading the novel oh, when I was nice. nine, and they helped explain the story to me. Oh, that's great. And so, you know, I think as we sit and talk about it, everybody wants to see that trailer and see what we are talking <laughs> about. Mm -hmm. So let's first take a look at the trailer before we talk any further. From the heart of the land that is our land, from the heart of the culture that is our culture, is Ultima really a witch? Mind your manners. I knew there would be something between us. Comes the controversial book that was banned, forbidden, and burned. It is alive. Like all things. The trees, the rocks, the river. Can it speak? Yes. Lucas is... He's very bad. He got sick, lies in bed, dying. They stole his soul. We must get it back. I will go. But you must understand that when one tampers with the fate of a man, a chain of events is set in motion that no one can control. I heard they're gonna burn her. He's not a witch. There is no witch Who is it accuser? I accuse you of being a witch! I'll find a way! I'll kill you! No! I get the chills every time I see that trailer, guys. I really do. What that an intense is so role. cool. Oh, it's so cool. That is so, then, I know, haven't I seen the trailer. Even, well, I didn't even ask you yeah, yeah. more about your role. Can you just share a little bit about the little summary of your role? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you have an hour? Um, <laughs> I wish. Um, but no, the character, it, it, I'm the father. Mm -hmm. uh, I deal with the heartache of my young child. Yes. Uh, of, of trying to be the, the rock for the family. Um, my older sons go away to war mm -hmm. and then they come back and we deal with the, how they've changed. Yeah. And the book is amazing in that way because at that time New Mexico was going through a change. That's Small right. towns were going through changes. The yes. boys were going off to war, seeing the world and coming back and that's mm -hmm. reflected in the book. And I, I mean seeing that trailer is just amazing. Uh, 
It is, right? It gives oh you the chills. It's so intense, and you guys do such good work. And, I, you know, I want to let everybody know out there that it was shot in and around Santa Fe and all around New Mexico. Where yeah. were some of the locations? Can you tell us real briefly? Uh, Abiquiu. Abiquiu, um, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Mm. We stayed in Española. Yes. We shot on Val Kilmer's. Um, oh, did you? Yeah, by the Ranch. Pecos River. Oh, yeah. that's cool. That and my is my family is from, my mom's family is from uh, Ojo Caliente. Oh, my gosh. Which is right up in there and from Belen area. And my dad's family is from Algadones. I mean, it's like... Well, like I said, with all the work you've yeah. done, this is like a full circle moment is, for really you coming is, yeah. home. And Bless Me Ultima actually will be screened Thursday at the Santa Fe Independent Film Festival, and it opens Friday in select theaters across Albuquerque and Santa Fe. So I want to ask you guys, what do you hope that the audience will take away from this film? What do you think, Luke? Um, I think, I hope they um, feel touched because I think everyone has a time when they have decisions about life, they don't know which to choose, and right. they face good and evil. And I just hope um, the audience can take something from that. Well said. What a great lesson to be learned. I, I, can't I believe top you that. can't I top think, that one, right? I think, and know, I know that you're also touching. really into music. I know you love to dance. Mm -hmm. I know you love music. So what's next for both of you? Any kind of performance coming up? Um, well, I have... A, I was in a movie mm -hmm. that I filmed in the summer, which is in post-production. Nice. It's called Model Home. Okay. And um, I'm really excited for that movie to come out. And I just hope to become a director, a writer, and... I uh, believe you can. You're ambitious and you've got what it takes. He's, he's the star. I, I'll be saying one day <laughs> I met him. And, and Benito, thank you so much My for pleasure. everything. It's such a pleasure to have you. So much great work over oh, the years. We appreciate all I, that you I bring just, to New Mexico as well. Oh, you're very kind. Thanks, guys. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Go see the movie. Come see the movie. <laughs>